His passion for performing ignited high school audiences, giving Elvis an appetite for the spotlight. After he recorded a demo at Sun Records, an assistant convinced owner Sam Phillips to formally audition the promising young talent. In a test session, Elvis was teamed with two local musicians. The result was Elvis's first hit, That's All Right. Sam Phillips introduced me to him in, in 54. I had uh, met him and, you know, of course, I thought he was one of the strangest looking guys I'd ever seen in my life. And I had my car radio on and it played. And so I stopped by the station and Dewey was, because uh, I had known Dewey and went up there and uh, that's the first time I'd heard it. I said, you know, I said, this is the guy that Sam Phillips introduced me to. Him. He said, yes, yeah, the same one. And it was just so different. The song was just everything that was out because back then it was Tony Bennett and Sinatra and, you know, it was just so different. I couldn't believe it. I said, I said this thing's stronger than Tarzan's armpits, you know. <laughs>